91,000 2.7 liter EcoBoost engines as well as the three liter EcoBoost engines have been recalled by Ford for catastrophic engine failures. And today I figured we take a dive and see what's going on. Welcome back, I'm Alex. We got the 2.7 liter in the shop today. We're actually towing with this engine and truck tomorrow, long awaited on this channel. So I'm pretty excited about that, but we do have to talk about the recall that dropped earlier this month, beginning of September involving this engine right here. But in my opinion, it really wasn't that surprising and I'll tell you why. The recall for this engine involves the intake valves. What's happening is the intake valve is possibly fracturing and breaking off going into the combustion chamber. And well, when that piston comes up, hits that valve, um, the engine is garbage, junk toast. But the reason why this recall is not surprising to me is because we already knew about this issue. In fact, I made a video talking about the issues with this 2.7 liter almost, well, coming on to a year now and I talk exactly about this issue. So let's roll that clip. The number one catastrophic engine issue with these 2.7 liter EcoBoosts, which has gained some recent traction actually, is the intake valves fracturing and dropping into the engine causing complete engine failure. At first, this was thought to be a very rare issue that was mainly happening with the Broncos, the 2.7 liters in the Bronco. But in 2022, the National Highway Safety Administration launched a full investigation into this 2.7 liter. Fast forward to October of 2023 in the National Highway Highway Traffic Safety Administration has determined that over 700,000 of these 2.7 liter EcoBoost engines are or could be potentially involved in the intake valve issues, including the 2021 and 2022 F-150s. Now, the alleged issue involves the alloy that is used on these intake valves. It's called Silchrome Light. And apparently if there's an over temperature situation during the machining of this alloy, um, these lifters can become very hard and brittle and potentially fracture. Now, before everyone starts to panic who owns a 2021 or 2022 F-150, um, typically these intake valve fractures happen at very low mileage, generally before 10,000 miles. So if you have mileage higher than that, you are most likely gonna be just fine. Secondly, um, if your truck was built after October of 2021, um, the issue has been resolved for those newer trucks built after that date. So there you go. This issue has been pretty well known for a while. So this recall didn't really surprise me. Um, what probably also doesn't surprise too many people, I've been rather bullish on this 2.7 liter EcoBoost. Personally, I think it's built very well and has had some, some pretty good success. Obviously, like I always say, no engine is perfect. And well, this engine is clearly no exception. But I also don't think people should be panicking when they hear about this catastrophic engine failure recall. If you remember earlier this year, the Toyota Tundra engine recall, I think did catch people by surprise and was a little bit damning towards the engine and even the manufacturer, dare I say, where this recall feels more like a formality. Um, like I mentioned, it seems like most people are aware of this issue. Ford has resolved this issue back in October of 2021. So it's been a number of years since this issue has been fully discovered, fixed, and then resolved. So if you have a truck that's built after October of 2021, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. If you're looking to buy a new um, 2.7 liter EcoBoost, this recall has nothing to do with new trucks. If you're unfortunate enough to have your truck fall within those manufacturing dates, then I guess worst case scenario is that Ford gives you a new engine free of cost. Let me know what you guys think about this recall. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool truck stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. We always have cool stuff planned. Anyways, enough of me. We'll see you on the next freaking video.